Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, Tempany Tower is essentially just a hotel. And where? Let me see if I can find some of the guys who live here. Yeah. There's one. So damn posh. I mean, look. We're in the middle of a post-apocalyptic landscape, and they're dressed as if they're dressed like 1950s middle-class business people. I mean, good God. Especially him. Hey, you. Oh. You. You. Oh, he's one of the nameless ones. Hmm. So I'm just considering going on a massacre here later on. Hello. Well, what's the status on Moy Phillips and his game? Dude, we spoke like five seconds ago. I've got I've got to go talk to Mr. Burke first. Damn. Sorry, I just had. Sorry, I just need a drink. Ah, yes, Mr. Burke is expecting you. He's waiting for you on the balcony. Don't cause any trouble. What, did he give you a fucking picture? Eh, someone else might be expecting me. I want to get a look at me. <laughs> sorry. That's a bit random. Uh, metal door to Tenpenny Tower. Aren't we in Tenpenny Tower? Oh right, this leads to the outside. Hello, Mr. Burke. The pulse charge is rigged. Excellent. Excellent! The anticipation is palpable, isn't it? When you have finished savoring the moment, you may have the honor of pressing the button. Oh, and mind your eyes, it'll be brighter than bright. Oh, by the way, this is a much touted Alistair nice Tenpenny. Nice to see you. Carry on. He is English. He's the... I think he's the only Englishman in the main game. I'm, I think there's one later on. Alright, it's a science pistol. I think there's one later on in the game, um, but I think that's actually DLC. Anyway, this briefcase with a. F Wait, which one of these works? I don't know. Did he even tell us? You know, we could just be pissing around with this thing. Anyway, wait, can we actually see it? Can we actually see Megaton from here? I don't think so, but we'll be able to see where it was. Um. Okay, with a click of, not with a click, with a press of the A button on my Xbox 360 controller, we will be blowing up an entire town. Three, two, one. What the fuck? to offer him the reward we discussed. Now, all this bright light and wind has given me quite a thirst. I'll there, apparently. I'll someone up as soon as I've completed business with our friend here. My God. What transcendent beauty. What purifying light. <clears throat> uh, uh, allow me to collect myself as I'm sure you're anxious to collect your payment I have been asked to extend you an invitation to reside at Ten Penny Tower here's the key and deed to your new master suite it's on the top floor first door on your right from the elevator oh. enjoy your new accommodations oh and if you wish to spruce the place up a bit Speak with Lydia Montenegro in the boutique Les Chic. <laughs> okay, so. And yeah, sorry about the p probably most poor editing I did there. 
I'd, I'd actually been planning to edit that in for like, t um, I think for the last two days, but I just never got around to recording any more of this. <laughs> oh, God. Um, anyway, so we now have our own home. Well, it's more of a apartment than a home, but whatever. We now have a place where we can lock our stuff up and leave it there without... Hmm. And leave it there without thinking people are going to steal it, because only we can get in or something, I don't know. And we've also got somewhere where we can place our bobbleheads. As you can see there, because the bobbleheads actually weigh something, and you didn't, and the, uh, I, don't, I don't know, the, I guess the guys at Bethesda didn't want it cluttering up your inventory. Um, uh, the homes you can get, the other home, by the way, is in Megaton. Like, the whole point of this first moral choice is, oh god is to set you up in, you know, whatever you're going to be and whatever whatever main morality you're probably going to follow as well as set you up uh, with a house in either place and you could get one in um, Megaton, you could get one here there's not much difference between the two although, I don't know why, I've always liked the look of this one better oh, that's a light, I always thought these were holes, holes in the ceiling Anyway, oh by the way, also if we ever want to, uh, or if you're playing this along with me, uh, um, whenever you've got a bobblehead on here, you just look directly at it and press A, and it comes up with what that bobblehead said. Won't tell you what you got from the bobblehead, but it's quite obvious. Uh, you know, I want to keep things in here, so I'm going to move what was in there into this footlocker. And how much? How much? How, does it tell me how many caps I've got? Actually, does it? Misc. Oh god, I should be able to show you another feature. Um, anyway, what can we put in here? We'll put that jumpsuit in there. And that's all we'll put in there for now. Oh yeah, I'll better show you this. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Godfrey, your personal robotic butler. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? Yeah, in Megaton you'd also get a robotic butler, but it sort of sticks out like a sore thumb in that house. This one looks sort of posh. Um, this house, living area, whatever you want to call it. But in Megaton it's like a run-down shack, and this guy just looks weird. He's not called Godfrey in um, Megaton either. He's, I can't remember what he's called. But whatever he's called, it's just bizarre. Also, these guys are all have all got pseudo British accents. Don't know why. Anyway, so we can get purified water from this guy, uh, which we shall because purified water is actually very useful. Uh, it doesn't heal as much as stim packs, but and it doesn't uh, heal um, crippled wound, 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 wounds. No, it's not crippled wounds. It's crippled limbs. Although how your head and jaws are cancelled, limp, whatever. It doesn't uh, heal crippled parts of your body, uh, it only will just heal your health, but still useful. Anyway, and we can also get a haircut. Also, he tells the worst jokes imaginable. We'll go for a joke first. Tell me a joke. I once visited a crematorium that gave discounts for burn victims. HA! And you can only tell, I think it's like one joke per day, and this is the message you get if he's already told you a joke. My humor emitter array requires recharging. Yeah. Um, I'd like a haircut, please. Certainly, I am programmed with a multitude of hair shaping scenarios. If you would care to choose one, I would be happy to replicate it for you. And so, what we're going to do is give him a silly mustache. A, uh, what, where, what's the Gettysburg? No, I want a mustache as well. I know there's one like that, like you can get a... There's the one! Or is that what? Is that? Oh god, I don't know which. Uh... There we go! Hairstyle, might as well give him slightly more respectable hairstyle. Blast back. And I have to go. We could ask him where we can get stuff for our house we've already been told and our guy looks weird. <laughs> uh, also there's a safe over here. 32 couple rounds, bottle caps and a stealth boy. I ne never use stealth boys but you can sell them for quite a fair bit. 